Python on hardware. All right, Lady Ada. We have a newsletter. We think we're going to get maybe 10,000 readers by the end of the year. That's what really? Anna's saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what Anna's saying. Um, but it doesn't matter. You can read it on the web. Uh, we don't spam. It's a whole separate site, Ada for Daily. This week, a couple highlights before I go into what I think is an interesting story. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040 turns one. I remember happy one year, a year ago. Happy one year old. Feels a lot longer, but yes, I remember we we, we you know we were porting CircuitPython in secret. I designed some hardware. Yeah. Um, with the chip, we got the feather design very early. Got that release very quickly, and uh, now it's one of our top chips. I love designing with the RP2040. Yep, and it's available. Um, I'll talk about the um, CircuitPython GitHub repo in a minute. Um, you're going to be on a PyCast. It is a celebration of 10 years of Raspberry Pi. So this will be on February 15th on Tom's Hardware. So you'll be uh, there with Pi Maroney and also uh, Tom's Hardware. And I think they have a whole series of guests and specials and, and yeah. all that. So check that out. Um, as I mentioned before, we have uh, the CircuitPython 2022 call for requests, participation. Um, what are the things that you want to see? Scott did a roundup. We put it in the newsletter, and we also have um, Scott's deep dive this week. We'll, you'll probably be summarizing uh, quite a bit of this. Um, so all of the projects are there. Um, CircuitPython show, uh, we're not doing this. Someone else is, which is good. Not me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, I've got enough shows to, to work on. Um, but they're doing interviews. There's guests, so whatever podcatcher you used. I don't even know if people call them that anymore. Um, sign up, subscribe, and you'll um, you'll see uh, and hear Paul interview a bunch of folks. Um, there's a bunch of CircuitPython stuff in Hackspace Magazine. You can check that out. And then just projects galore, never ending projects. I thought this um, blood glucose meter was kind of cool with the mag tag. That's nice. Um, so do check that out. So the, the story, the one I wanted to focus on this week is, so something happened in the world of CircuitPython, Lady Ada, that made the stars on GitHub, which is a measure of, are people using this? Are people doing stuff with it? It's they, a rough measure. It, it's, it not, is, it's not how it, many users. It is a measure. But it's how many people are interested yeah. in the development of it. So what happened for these little areas that it, that it, that it spiked up? Yeah, so you see, like, normally it's quite linear uh, for the most part. You know, it, kinda, it just kind of go, goes with time, although it's accelerating, right? It, it does kind of curve up. But there's two big bumps. Uh, one bump is when we did the Pi Portal. Um, because, you know, basically we had a project which would ding every time people uh, starred um, the GitHub repo. And so a lot of people were, uh, you know, we kind of said, hey, folks, like, check out this project and star the, um, the repo. And a lot of people got uh, a Pi Portals in the Ada box, uh, I think, added stars uh, as part of the project. So uh, we saw a bump there. Um, and then uh, another bump, you know, came basically a year ago right around... Um, um, MicroPython. I'm, I'm guessing that's exact. You know, I like, don't know the exact date, but it looks like it's just at the new year of 2021, which is, I think a lot of people got um, Raspberry Pi Picos and they're like, I want to run software on it. And CircuitPython ran out of the box and could do keyboards and, and MIDI and USB. And we had a lot of libraries and drivers. Um, so I think that was a big bump in, in the use, you know, use uh, user base. Yeah. And so we got a lot of uh, stars then. Yeah. I think um, when you introduce new hardware, that's when a lot of it... A lot of well, it's a whole new down. family of hardware, right? Yeah. And Raspberry Pi even said, you know, one, they sold about a million Picos. So, you know, like 10% of those people probably, you know, or 1% even checked out yeah. CircuitPython. Um, you know, that's 100,000 more users. All right. So um, 10, you can get this newsletter with all this and more at adafruitdaily.com. Once again, we don't spam. It's a completely separate site. It has nothing to do with your Adafruit account at all whatsoever. And it gets delivered to you every single week by a cool purple snake that we like to call Lenka. And that's Python on Hardware this week.